Okay. Well, here I am. I don't have a script for this video, so might just me might just hear me saying random stuff. But yep, here I am. Back to Battle Arena theorized. It's been a long while since I last one I made one of those videos. I think the last one I, the last video I made about Battle Arena theorized is. Spinosaurus vs. One Eye. And that video, One Eye won. One Eye wins, at least in terms of overall power. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes, since we have started the new tra Transformers vs. MLP Equestria Girls stuff, I might have thought it would be a good idea to give one of one of the funniest and best characters in the MLP Equestria Girls show, a matchup. We have the Fallen versus Sonata Dusk. Alright, now, just for the sake of this video, Wara could only be using her Siren form, which is what you're seeing right now, because her human form, not so much. I don't even think. I don't think her human form would do much. So yeah, we're gonna use our siren form for now. Anyway, let's start. What are their abilities? Alright, the fallen. The fallen, well we already know he can teleport. He has telekinesis. And he holds a staff. I'm not sure what the staff holds, but hey, that's just that's probably a good addition. Maybe it's used for long range combat. Sonata has a red beam, can fly, and can swim, because of course she's a sea pony. And that's what I can think of. I'm not sure, maybe maybe there are other abilities that she has. But let's see, okay. What about their feats? Well, if you haven't noticed, the Fallen is the Fallen is one of the seven primes. Sonata is one of the dazzlings. So I guess you could say they are both from different race. The Fallen. Fun fact. Okay, here's here's a fun fact. Both Fallen and Sonata can defeat Godzilla Ultima in a fight. Can one brutally one-shot Ultima in a fight. And you could probably already know why these two could beat Ultima. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. The Fallen and Sonata are the only two beings with like godlike abilities. However, and one of them seems to be more cute and cunning and more friendly type of a of a villain. While the other one is just a complete menace, does not care about anyone but for himself, does not care about any of the other Decepticons or Autobots. And yeah, that's just how the Fallen is. What are their feats though? Ah uh, yes, this is where their feats come into play. Yes, so Sonata with the with the red beam, it based on the video I saw, I I am pretty sure it's like a like her siren attack. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like like a loud attack, but hey that's just me. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Walt went in, in that concert, in that concert uh, scene. Yeah, she went, went, went in her siren form. Apparently, she could summon a sea dragon. Yeah, apparently, yeah, that's like what the other Dazzlings do. They summon a sea dragon to help them fight, I guess. 
So I guess you could say that's only her, well, her part avatar. Well, their true forms are are just sea dragons. But yeah, and for the fallen, well, I'm not sure if he has them, but I'm pretty sure the fallen has jet fire. But I don't think Jetfire is going to be in there because 1. He was once a Decepticon, now turned into Autobot. 2. Jetfire only could teleport. And that's basically it. Man, okay. So how do I feel about this fight? Since... Since both defeat gods of ultimate in the fight, and both of them seem to have godlike abilities, it feels like the Fallen would win thanks to his teleportation and overall monstrosity attacks. But it also feels like Sonata would win thanks to her dragon form. Not like dragon form, but summon a dragon and send out, release her red beam. But yeah, both of them seem to have planet busting attacks. It's a really close fight, in my opinion. But, as we on, I don't think the Fallen is as tough. Because cause this is where durability comes into play. The Fallen was killed by the Jet Power Optimus Prime. He only lasted a few minutes before he died. It's not a lasted probably like, like a couple hours during combat. Thinking about it, the Fallen was, was, was mortally wounded by bullets, and all it took to defeat Sonata and the rest of Dazzlings is some gigantic magical unicorn that seemed to, to drain their power. Yeah, I don't think the Fallen possesses that sort of ability. So, yeah, inclusion. If I was to ever make a, a short video about it, and then I put categories like strength, speed, IQ, durability, combat, hexes, abilities, technology, weapons, menace, cunning, the majority of it would be Sonata Dusk. Thanks to her flight, her red siren beam, her dragon avatar, and just overall way more powerful than the Fallen. So yeah, Mimus will give it that Sonata, Sonata wins. Sonata wins 50 to 50 because they're both star level, but Sonata's just better. Sorry about that. But yeah, Sonata's just better, powerful, and more skilled than the Fallen. But yeah, who do you think would win this fight, the Fallen or Sonata?